All right, so as we move down our body, okay, we're gonna focus on his face, on your face. Um, so this time, I want you to zoom in a little bit further. And to start, before we even start tracing, because we've done his hair, I want you to look at your layers palette. And if you look, layer two says layer two. We want that to be called hair. So to edit the name of that layer, just double click it, type hair, and hit enter. Okay, and that locks in your name. Then, because now we can't see what's underneath the hair, we're just gonna click this little eyeball to hide the hair layer from us so we can't see it, so it doesn't get in our way. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is your face, the actual oval head that you have. So we're going to use the pen tool again. Again, make sure that your fill is empty, there's no fill, and make sure you choose a fun color for your line, um, so that way you're ready to go. Now, if you notice the icon in my cursor, it looks like a pencil with like a, a Ghostbuster sign or no smoking sign, if you will. That's because we've hidden the layer it thinks that we wanna work on, which is the hair layer. So we're gonna make a new layer, okay? And now we can work on layer three. Notice my cursor has now turned into the pen tool and we're ready to go. So because our hair overlaps our foreheads a little bit, um, you don't need to get too crazy with the face, but you do want to get nice lines along the edge of the face around the chin. You're going to trace. Click, hold, drag to get those handlebars out. Remember, don't make your handlebars too long. Now, along here where the hair is going to hide the face, I'm just going to click so that way I can connect my lines together. And then you go, you end where you began. Okay? Now, I'm going to tweak this line over here a little bit, that part of the line segment, using our direct selection tool. Come back in here. and I'm going to move this point a little bit and play with the handlebars. Now you may not need to do this every time, but chances are you will need to go back in and tweak lines a little bit. Now, let's fill in his face with a facial color. So we're gonna use our eyedropper, choose his face, his flesh color, and then show his hair. Now notice the hair, oops, just made his face brown. Now the hair layer is behind the face layer. We want it the other way around. So if we need to reorganize layers, go ahead and do that just like you do in Photoshop. Just click and drag to reorganize that layer. And then we're going to name the layer with our face, which in my case is layer three. We are gonna name this face. Okay, and that's your face layer. Now, if you open up these little arrows in your layers palette, there's other features that we're gonna to add to our face layer. So we don't want to hide the whole layer, just the face path, okay? So we're gonna name that path face, just like our layer is, and we're gonna hide that, okay? But we're keeping the face layer visible. Now we're gonna trace our nose. Using the pen tool again, Make sure you're clicked on face so you can draw. This time we're gonna, just like before, make sure our fill is empty. And this time we're going to make our outline or the line color black, okay? And what this does is you're basically tracing the creases of your face. So you're tracing your nose. And then by filling that line color in black, you have just made your nose. Now, it looks a little weird on a picture. I get it. I know. Uh, but once you see it with all the cartoon, all the other cartoon features, uh, it will make a lot of sense and it will look really, really nice. Okay? So just go back through and even out any little bumps in your lines or anything like that uh, if you need to. Now, if you need to undo something, that's control Z, okay? We're gonna do the same thing for our lips. Um, we're gonna use our pen tool, and we're gonna trace our lips. 
Now here you're going to trace your top lip as one shape and then you're going to trace your bottom lip as another shape. And we're going to fill them with shades of pink. And then close up that shape. I do recommend zooming in because it gives you a better view of your lines. It allows you to move some things around. All right, and now we're going to fill that with a light pink color. And then next we're going to do the bottom lip. So use your pen tool again, trace your lips. Just trace. Now we're going to go around the bottom of the lip. Click, hold, drag click, hold, drag, okay? And then now we're going to use our eyedropper to fill that with a darker shade of pink. So now you see both of our lips together and our nose and our face. We've got the beginning of a cartoon face, okay? Now next, we need to layer, excuse me, name these paths. So we're gonna name this path nose. We're going to actually group these two together, lips. So to do that, you want to click the little circle to the right of each path and do Control G, which puts them in group. And we're going to name that group lips. All right. So once you come back, we're going to do your, uh, we're going to start working on the neck and maybe his necklace and some uh, shirt, shirt work. So make sure you save and then open up the next tutorial.